Hello everybody, my name is Hatred Elemental, back once again with Draco Sozer. Hello everyone. And we're going after Snake Man as promised. One of my favorite stages, theme-wise, graphics-wise. And here in this first room, we are immediately set upon by Snakeys and Dadas. Try and guess which is which. Hey. Oh, yeah. Obviously, this stage is somewhat castle-themed. Maybe not obviously, but you... Yeah. My train of thought works differently. And already we have the stage's mini-boss, Big Snakey. He's fairly easy to take out once you know his pattern. I have no idea what those guys are called, I forget. How about just... Drop Bells? Why Drop Bells? Well, they look like little bells. You know? Um, I suppose when they're loaded into their compartments, maybe. And... Uh, yeah. Here we have Bubba Boons. Yep. Little pole vaulting weirdos that... Yeah. I'll just go ahead and say it, Draco. They were always reminded you of Mario. Yes. And here we have Hammer Joe. Probably my favorite Joe design. At least in the first three games. And here we get a thing that's only in Mega Man 3. Mystery Tanks. It's completely random what they draw. Sometimes you get minor stuff like weapon energy and health. Sometimes you get something amazing like lives or E-Tanks. E-Tanks would be amazing, honestly. Climbing our way up. Big and Snakey again! Basically, this stage is Indiana Jones' worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Another Bubba Phone. I don't know what he has against pole vaulters, though. I don't have anything against pole vaulters. Long jump. No, I mean Indiana Jones. Yeah, hardy har har. Har. Also, something we forgot to mention. In Mega Man 3, Mega Man's ladder climbing speed was increased. Thank the ancestors for that, am I right? And here's where the stage takes a major turn. We now have a sky section. And you have to jump before these platforms come out or else there's a very good chance... Something get, like that'll happen. You'll get pushed off them when they appear, but that time it was just pure failure. On Ser my part. Seriously, the Bubba Foons look like they have giant noses and little mustaches. I don't see it. Oh well, I don't have to. Yeah, you just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Alright, now let's not screw this up. <clears throat> Bullet Bills in disguise! You belong in a Mario game. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna call those cloud bullets. I'm calling them Bullet Bills. I don't think any Bullet Bill in a Mario game has ever used a cloud disguise. Well, they're only disguising because they're in the wrong game. That's true. <laughs> and here they are in the boss shutter. Bullet Bills have arms. Yeah. And here we have Snake Man. A robot master that's based off a creature that doesn't have arms either. Or legs. Or at least shouldn't. The arena layout is kind of strange, but you can probably see that. And it makes for some pretty interesting battle scenarios. Yeah. You're not really fighting on even ground, so it's kind of hard to dodge his attacks and when he just... Never mind, then. 
I always only just make it through the fight. But, as long as I make it through it all, you know, that's what matters. And from that we get our, we get Snake Man's main attack, the Search Snake, which will travel along on floors and walls, but will destroy itself whenever it hits a ceiling. Doesn't it also have the ability to pick up items? I don't think so. Hmm. You're but right, only the Pashiri gun does that. The from one. Nizumi Man. Oh, Nizumi Man. <laughs> Never really played it. But next time we're going after Gemini Man, who is actually Draco's robot master of the bunch because he's a Gemini. I'm a Taurus myself, not that it matters, but... This is Hatred Elemental and Draco Soda Zero signing out. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Do you have a comment, Draco? Hard Man looks like he's being left out. <laughs> Probably because he's one of the many robot masters in the game who doesn't have a nose. In fact, Mega Man and Shatter Man... Mega Man and Shadow Man are the only two that I can see who have noses. Needle Man doesn't have a mouth. Well, maybe the reason Hard Man feels like he's being left out is because... Isn't there usually, like, a sequence, and Hard Man is part of the first part of that sequence? I don't know. OCD, you know. Yeah. Needleman, forever silenced. Goodbye.